a high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak. Welcome, folks, to another episode of the Raven's Den Vlog Show, where our direction is somewhere sometimes we don't know. Uh, right <laughs> right now we have our special guest here, energy and Reiki healer, uh, Angela. And uh, just say hello to everybody. Hello. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, so her, you know, we got a little bit of Wi-Fi issues, you know that. Okay, we have that here, and it's all right. It'll 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 happen in due time. So, all right, our, our subject for today. First, I'm going to go through the etheric forecast. Okay, so today's been an interesting day so far, and I was curious as to find out why. So the first thing I noticed was that our Schumann resonance, the, the power of the resonance is a 24. So it's, it's, it's quite high from the last time where it was, you know, the, between a seven, a six and an eight. So we're definitely, ah, we're getting thumbs up too. Check that out. Awesome. Okay. So we got some good stuff going here. Um, the quality of the resonance is a 7.88. So it's, pr it's pretty solid, you know, really fluid. Uh, the ma It maxes out at 8.02 hertz, which is pretty high, uh, as well as the minimum, which is a beautiful synchronicity of numbers, which is the 7.47 hertz as well. And our amplitudes are 20, 14, and 6. Now, due to the fact that it's a little bit higher than normal, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a quick card pull. I'm not even going to go with Tarot. I just shuffled these. I couldn't even believe it. Like I said, we just go fluidly, you know, wherever we go. So I'm going to pay, I'm going to take these angel cards out, pull a couple of cards for the rest of the week. Let's see what we got to do in order to keep ourselves afloat, you know, energetically, etherically, and, uh, you know, make things good for the remainder, right? So let, let's take a look. All right. So this is talking about a lack of balance. Okay. Any lack of balance, we need to embrace that lack with the attitude of gratitude as well as appreciation and the acceptance of serenity into our life, you know, the balance within chaos. Okay. Again, that balance within chaos. Uh, we have to have empathy. We got to make sure that we feel, uh, you know, how other people are, what their energy is, their emotions, and making sure that we're hyper aware, you know, these kinds of things as well as uh, being able to tie up any loose ends because if we continue on the rest of the week, as such, being to leave the loose ends loose, we're not going to give ourselves the opportunity to evolve in the ways that we really want to uh, towards the weekend, okay? And uh, it's okay if there's a little bit of tough love in the process of it, all right? So maybe there's some people around you that you got to deal with and uh, make sure that they know what your intentions are energetically, okay? So now, a lot of stuff's happening, Angela, okay? There's a lot of stuff going on, got a lot of energies, okay? a, lot of, um, a lot of things moving. So now, my question to you is, uh, we've discussed this a little bit earlier, uh, but you said something about, and being a Reiki healer, um, you, you know, uh, and as well as myself, we have a tendency of not really doing a whole lot of work that has to do with ourselves. So you said that you were struggling us in a specific way. Can you explain a little bit about what what struggle you're having and why you may think that you have that struggle? I I have known this for quite a while that I've been struggling with my throat chakra, and it's something like I said I've. I've been struggling with for probably years, just never really had a chance or wanted to fix the problem. I was working on other things and just general life, you know, whatever. But lately I have been called to fix that problem. So this is my journey so, right now. <laughs> so what you're saying is uh, the throat chakra with you, 
Okay, there, there's a blockage or a barrier that you have to get that you have to you know break through, overcome, and things like that. If you if you were to have someone ask you uh, what things that you can do in order to br break through those barriers and overcome some of these obstacles with the throat chakra, what would you suggest? Honestly, for me, what I am doing is I am kind of doing the opposite of anything that I've done before. So if something was uncomfortable for me to talk about before, that's where I'm going. Don't and say. that's where I'm that's what I'm talking about. So forcing yourself to feel okay. uncomfortable uh, in, in order to grow. I mean, that, that sounds yes. like what's, what's really going on. So on that note, we got to talk about what's going on here. All right. We got this beautiful cycle. Some people don't think it's too beautiful. Okay. That's okay. But, you know, some people, we got to look at the planetary alignments and what's happening with the moon. Okay. October is this actually, and I, and I looked this up the other day, did some research, and I found out that there hasn't been a double full moon event in the last 12 years, okay, 12 years or so, something like that. So this is a very particular and a very important energetic event that's going on right now throughout the entire month, okay? So not only is, oh, bear with me a second. Got some comments here. Hey, Lori, hey, how are you, how are you doing, Lori, Irene? Rainwater, good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. Uh, she's also suggesting, uh, let's see, uh, 110 hertz. Okay. 110 hertz meditation to open up and, and break through that barrier okay, of the throat chakra. So thank you for that, Lori. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. A whole bunch. It looks like Aaron Beck, uh, Raven Beckman's got some, you know, got some sayings here. Saying them right. All right, great. That's awesome. 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 And see, the more times that we understand, and I, and I don't know how you feel about this, but I know how, I, you know, professionally I feel about it. The more I understand about any energetic cycle during the month, I feel a lot more balanced or more prepared to deal with any of the things that are going on. Um when, when your energy is off, now we're not just talking about throat chakra, okay? But when your energy is off, how do you usually re realign? Like, what is your go-to? Well, I first notice it, and immediately I'm like, okay, this is not right. I don't feel myself. Right. So the first thing I would do is sage, um, just to bring my self sent to a center, I guess. Um, usually I'll write, um, listen to some music. Any specific music? I mean, any kind of music? I mean, not, I mean, you don't want to listen to heavy metal or it hard really, metal. Well, that's what I've been listening to lately. Oh, that's your go-to? Oh, okay. All right. No, All right. that is usually not my go-to. But the okay. last month or so, I have just been really intrigued by heavy death, like death metal, just screaming music. Oh yeah, well, and yeah, and it would seem, mm -hmm. yeah, it seems out of place from my my usual very calm. Um, I don't really like screaming. I don't. I don't even allow my children to scream. Like, I, <laughs> I don't like the energetic disturbance that it causes me. Right. So I find it interesting that the last month or so I've been wanting to hear that screaming or scream myself. It's right. like a, I feel like it's some sort of release. Okay. Um, Aaron Raven Beckman. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I already have the answer to this question. Um, but uh, Aaron poses a question. Uh, he asks if you have chakra stones. And I'm pretty sure you do, right? If I have. Shockers if I have what stones, stones. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's your there's your answer, Aaron. <laughs> she yes, she has chakra stones. I mean, I'm I think I think a majority of 
of healers, I mean, most of us usually um, have a, a set of, you know, of certain kinds of stones. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, you know, I just recently made, the, you know, this one, which is the black tourmaline, pretty big stone, you know, it's a pretty decent size and um, a little heavy on, on the neck a little bit, but um, it, it keeps me balanced. It keeps me focused and it brings about the truth, like speaking authentically. And, that, and that's what I what I've experienced with that kind of kind of a stone. The, the other thing that I would like to discuss, too, is about the throat chakra. So the throat chakra is a place for speaking and expressing yourself honestly, authentically, uh, directly, you know, speaking out your intention, as well as using it for sound, sound vibrational manifestation and. With that being said, how do you use, how would you use your throat chakra now? Like once it's, once it's clear, once it's clean, you know, once all these things are, you know, out of, uh, out of uh, the wonkiness. Okay. How, what would you do different? What would I do differently yeah. that I'm not doing right now? Okay. Yeah. So that is my main barrier between starting my own business is my throat chakra. And I've known that for quite some time. A okay. lot of it will be YouTube videos. And okay. before this point, and even I'm still working on it right now, I would not have been able to sit in front of a video and okay. say anything. I've been too shy or not knowing what to say. But Are you yeah. so while well, I use it for, I will use it for good. <laughs> and I will use it for promoting my business. Um, right. making YouTube videos, positivity, spiritual. Motivation, inspiration, enlightenment. Motivation. Yeah. yeah, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Good, good stuff. I'll, I'll actually subscribe uh, to your, your YouTube channel. Uh, let me know if you need any any help with that, too. Because, uh -huh. uh, I, you know, I make the images and, you know, I do, like, the profile photos. and I can, I'm uh, sure I will. <laughs> yeah, set, set, set you all up with that, too. Because uh, I have my YouTube channel, which is Healing Life From Within. Um, it's, it's a be mm -hmm. beautiful channel. It's got about almost a hundred videos um, on there, and um, ultimately, now you you were talking about business, okay? Um, now, what do you, what do you consider your business as? Um, life coaching. That that would okay. be my main business. Okay, are are you are you certified as a life coach yes. at, at the moment? Yes. Okay. And then I'm taking my master life coach certification at the moment. Oh, you're taking them in masters. Oh, good. Good for you. Awesome. Okay. That's, that's great. Okay. Some people just go, you know, go with the, the personal, you know, the personal and, um, you know, the, the just regular life coaching. They don't go into, you know, the, the corporate, if you will, or the employer sort of area. Yeah, I'm taking you, business coach, life coach, or master life coach, and um, what was the other one? Are you are you going for spiritual? Oh, I was going to say, are you are you going to use it as a platform for a spiritual coaching as well? Do you, do you have an idea about that? Is that something you want to do? Not so much spiritual. Um, mine will be more based on, um, thought processes Mindset. and how, what you're thinking is going to determine the outcome. Okay. So what happens. meaning your, your vibes attract your tribe kind of thing. Your, you Basically. know, yeah. Your, your thoughts create your reality, you know, things like that. Actions and reactions are based on, you know, free mm -hmm. Oh, okay, being aware and mindful and things like that. That's really, really cool. Okay. Yeah, pretty much what I do. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, and what's really great about all this is that we need more of our, I, I know, I, I don't want to sound, uh, what is it, uh, separatory or, uh, you know, the one who segregates, you know, but our kind, meaning, the ones that push the envelope, you know, the ones who push ourselves to learn as much as we can, you know, for as long as we can in order to help as many as we can. I know that kind of long winded thing right there, but what we, what we try to do best. And I think that there's, how do you feel about 
each one of the, the gifted individuals learning a multiplicity of skills and skill sets. Do you think that, I mean, how do you, in regards to picking something and becoming an expert at it? I mean, I think that you should do that too, but I think you should have many gifts. Like that's, I do my Reiki healing too. And I would like to, you know, study shaman. I, yeah, shamanic's where it's at. I mean, I don't know what all that I would add to that, but I'm going to start it on a life coach basis. I can see a lot of people that need help. I can see an integration. Mm -hmm. You know, if that's what you're looking for, I could see Mm -hmm. that. And, this integration is a, a, a quandrum of like healing using Reiki as you know the the go to or even the, the you know, kind of like the stepping stones of the process of, of doing the coaching. I, I could see that. I could really really see that. And, and I, I believe that there is such a thing as healing with resonance. I don't know if anyone else believes this, but uh, but me professionally and personally for that fact, I do believe that you can heal yourself and other people with sound. I do believe that. Um, not, only, not only just words, like you said, with the screaming. I've never tried that, but I, I we could even either. And therapy. I mean, that's, you know, we can even call it that if need be. Honestly, I didn't even know what to think about it when it came to me because it, like I said, it came to me, not really in a vision, but like, it just came to me in my sleep. Like it's been in my mind, like you need to scream, you need to scream it out. So I was like, what is it? So that's when I went ahead and looked it up and it is a form of therapy and it's going back to primal therapy where you know your basic human before all the electronics and whatnot well and how we did also, they get their anger out and we also have to look at because there um what is there's a tv show see i don't really watch too much tv but Maybe. um you know i'm usually the movie buff or watching videos or i'm making videos or i'm you know drawing or designing something you know i'm always keeping myself busy but um there was Oh, there's a TV show out there, and it just it just got activated. It was just on on the network now, and I'm pretty sure it's called Lost Island or something, where it has to do with, with the same thing that we're talking about. It's like celebrities, you know, going to this island and and work, you know, working with Reiki masters, working with shamans, and, and things like this in order to he, you know begin to heal from within. I mean, that's you know that's how that works. Scream therapy was actually part of it, and it freaked me out. It freaked me out. Like, I mean, these people were screaming at the top of their lungs. I mean, you know, their their traumas or their their problems or what they really want and what they desire. And I can see the positive side of it, but I can also see a negative side of it, you know, where, I mean, that could be a controversy within itself, to be honest with you. I have gotten a lot of negative input from a lot of the people in the spiritual community right. regarding the screaming. But I don't know. To me, it makes sense because, and, and like I said, it would have never made sense to me before because I do not like screaming. I don't like loud noises. But so. when... When you scream and you actually scream, you're just not like, ah, (laughs) when you're actually getting into it, screaming, you feel such a release afterwards. You feel, I don't know, so much lighter. Well, it's to me, I mean, the way that you're talking about it, you know, within that construct, I I do see a, a chance of a feeling of the purge, you know, the, the removal of, whatever it is that is holding you back from the biggest problem I've encountered is what happens to that energy. You know, you want to transmute it. You don't want to just release all that negative energy to manifest somewhere else. Yeah. I mean, well, I got a thought 
and let, let, let's let's hear some you know some other people's that you know persons that watch this. Okay, let's let's hear some other you know opinions of people that that think me personally. If there is there's a way of doing this, and there we talk about this in a I guess a spiritual kind of religious sort of sense, uh, where uh, there's a, a ritual used, and what they do is they take like a mason jar, for example. Okay. Now you're talking about a grid, you know, holding, you know, holding this energy into something, you know, meaning a grid or, or, you know, holding up this energy or this bubble or, you know, what have you in order to take this energy and then go ahead and transmute it, which I get that part. Now, there is a practice in witchcraft where you take a mason jar and what you would do, you would put distilled or purified water in it and you would put, um, I think it's like a teaspoon, a tablespoon, or something, of uh, sea salt in the mason jar. And I have, I actually have one up here, and it's clear, it, clear as can be. I, I can't even believe how clear this water is. Okay, which our water is is hard water. That's you know that's why. Well, long story short, um, and all you do is shake it when it's obviously shut. You shake it and then you put it into a room where the water actually acts as that grid where it absorbs that energy, that essence, and it holds it in it in the vessel. Okay. Okay. And what you do now, there's a couple of things that you can do with the jar. Okay. Now we know the toilet, obviously. Okay, mm -hmm. I would just you know dumping it down the toilet because it drains. That is a drain, and it go you know and it goes to wherever, and it gets repurified, and you know and all this all these things you know goes in the sewer or whatever. Um, other than that, you can bury it, or you can put it into. I mean, shoot, you can even. I mean, I'm not suggesting anybody litter, okay, but I'm saying that you can even put it in a river. Okay, you in let you know let the tide take it, you know, and things like that. Um, but I wouldn't suggest holding on to something like that. Okay. So what you're suggesting is it's like the negative energy well, that's here, in the jar. Here. Uh, this is why I like a blog show. Okay. Because I can I can actually physically show stuff, right? So this, so this is all it is. This, just that. Okay. Okay. And it's got. Well, it's not that clear. Actually, there's some really crappy stuff in here. It's nasty, actually, when you look at it. You see that? That's all. Yeah. The, that's energy that has been absorbed by this by this mason jar. And and probably today, the weekend or something, I'm obviously gonna you know, dump it out or bury it or, you know, whatever, what have you, and, you know, in order to get rid of that energy. Now, what we also have, uh, see, even Christine, Christine's from Australia. Okay. She used to be one of my students and she, and she actually suggested either bury it or throw it out to sea. Mm. That's simple. Okay. And allow just you know allow the energy to be dispersed and wherever it goes or wherever it goes. Now, I, I like where we're going here. I do. However, let's talk about one thing that's trendy. COVID nineteen. Oh gosh. Okay. I want to discuss with you because you're a healer. Okay. And that's one of the major reasons why I'm, I want to discuss this. How do you feel about how this is being treated, even vibrationally? What do you feel about this? Well, there's a lot to be concerned about. I mean, this is not getting treated very well at all. There's a lot of people, suicide rates gone up, mental health gone up, homelessness, so many people homeless without food. I've also noticed addiction too. 
addictions are bad. Yeah, I mean, I mean especially really, it's grown our country drugs. from a questionable state into a pretty dire state. Like, we're not doing very well as a country or as a people. So let so let me ask you uh, let me ask you this when it comes to this virus, okay? And we're talking about you know an energetic kind of spiritual sense, all right? I mean, what do you think if we were to literally raise our vibration that it somewhat protects us from this virus? How do you feel about that? Because there's been a lot of talks about this. Like raising your vibration, well, that the mean, disease is, is a lower vibration. And if you raise your vibration, you're actually protecting yourself more against it. I mean, sure, that's true. But people that haven't even started their ascension cannot just raise their vibration like that. So right. that's where the problem is. That's where a lot of these people are going to die. They're not going to be able to hold the amount of energy that is required. To heal themselves, is that what you mean? To heal themselves, yeah. Or anybody else for that matter. And there's just not enough people that are living on a higher vibration that can cover the ones that aren't. We can cover some, but... Yeah, yeah, we can, can cover, cover some. Yeah, we can do a grid. I mean, we you know, we can combine and network our, our, our efforts, you know, mm -hmm. and, and build, you know, and build a circle, you know, but in, in, try, in trying to embrace kind of um, multitude of people, you know, to join in all at once, to be able to do global healing. Now that's, that's something that if we can start doing that, I think that there's going to be a lot more people that are going to survive from this thing. Okay. I mean, I, I always say I, I've read it, I've learned it doing quantum healing you know, doing shamanic healing, that disease is a, a lower vibrational frequency. And, and, and it just, you know, it destroys. And the thing is, is that destruction is negativity. So in order for us to fight against it, we have to, we have to spread love. We have to, you know, we have to listen and be empathetic and sympathetic with one another. You know, even to the people that maybe we think that don't even deserve it from us. Okay. And we, we have to also realize that everyone deserves a chance to heal. Okay. And a chance to protect, you know, be protected everyone. from, you know, from this thing, because I've look, I, I'm, I don't want any pity folks. Okay. You don't, you don't have to provide me with, you know, if I'm sorry or, or what have you, my condolences. I've already had that for months and months and months. Okay. But my, my mom passed, you know, April 13th. Okay. Of this year. Um, she actually was diagnosed clear of COVID-19. Okay. Which was really weird because she not only had stage four lung cancer, but she also had double pneumonia on top of that. And she still never got COVID-19. And she went through like, she went through two or three different facilities. Again, she never contracted it. So, um, I mean, there's statutes, there's, you know, there was ratios of people, 1.5% or whatever, you know, there's a chance of you getting it or what have you. Um, but the simple fact is, is that we're all susceptible. We're all, we, no, nobody's yes. really immune. Okay. There, unless you're a freaking alien, you know, my apologies for saying this. Unless you're an alien or you're nothing but light, okay, <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to contract COVID, all right? Um, I mean, my personal opinion is the, the higher we raise the vibration, you know, the happier we are, okay, the happier we help people become, the better humanity will be, Okay. And everybody, most people are doing stuff from home. So any background noise, folks, just deal with it, all right? Because the simple fact is, is that most of us are home, all right? Now, to uh, to conclude the show, we got down to the bottom here this this roller banner. Okay, we got the roller banner here. You can uh, you can go to PayPal.me forward slash 
Raven Nightclaw to support the show. Okay, any any little bit helps. All right, I thank you in advance for doing so. Also, there is an additional banner that you may not have seen. Okay, which I've just posted just now again, which is that you can get healing directly from Angela one on one. Okay, by going to her profile, https colon forward slash forward slash face ww obviously facebook.com Jackson Wyatt Ellie dot McCoy. Okay, it's her Facebook URL again, facebook.com forward slash Jackson Wyatt Ellie dot McCoy. Okay, is her is her link there now? Um Oh, now you're a level what? What level, level are you? Level three. You are master. Okay, master. Maybe maybe uh, we can uh, discuss having having you you know join the collective you know in the group here that we have and, and getting your uh, your quantum and your shamanic certification as well to to be a you know, to be an energetic soul surgeon and be able to help people even more so than you're doing now. Okay, it might be a really great idea. Um, and anybody else, in, you know, interested in doing that stuff too, you know, message me. You know where I'm at. Uh, I got I got so many links out there, and you know, you just type in Raven Nightclaw, and you can find me. I'm all over Google and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest and and all these things. So, um, I, I did want to say to and you know, Reiki Healer Angela, thank you very very much for your time. This has been amazing, an amazing episode today. Absolutely, I would love to be able to do this again. And again, obviously, folks, you see that this is the new platform that we're using. We are using StreamYard. It's over there. You see it. Um, you'll probably not see that after a little while because I'll, I'll be paying for it. Uh, but again, if you guys are helping support the show, that's going to be part of what it's going to be going to because it costs like 25 bucks a month uh, in order for us to have a bunch of other features. It's a br brilliant stuff and, and, and just bring more great content to you guys. Okay. And uh, I did want to say again, thank you all for being your for your patronage, for your support, for your loving and kind words. And uh, until next time, okay, this is you know the Ravens Den vlog show. Be humble, be blessed, live in the vibration of love, and take care of each other. Namaste and love and light. A high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak.